Welcome back to my first ever virtual back to school night. Um, I know that it's different, but I also can kind of appreciate that we're a whole lot cooler watching this and, and presenting this from where we are rather than all packed into my classroom at Olympus. So the slideshow that I'm going to share with you um, is what I think you need to know in order to survive and thrive in our digital classroom. My name is Lori Wainwright, and I have been teaching math at Olympus since the doors opened in 1996, a long time. It's my 29th year as a teacher in California, and I'm excited to go on this new distance learning adventure with you and your child. I have been collaborating a lot with the teachers at Cabot and at Olympus, as well as the other EVA junior high teachers, and our goal is really to bring the best um, curriculum, entertaining, in, in, um, rigorous, and engaging lessons to your child, and also to have that consistency. So I am here to support your child and help them learn and be successful, and I'm hoping that as we go through the year, we will all have that opportunity to work together for their success. So I'm going to be showing you um, my website and a couple of other slides, and, and for expedience sake, I've opened the tabs at the top here. So the first place that I wanted to take you was to my website. There are a lot of important, useful things at the bottom, and there are also links up at the top. On this page, this gives you the junior high distance learning schedule, so if you ever forget what time your child's supposed to be where. I know it's, it was a fast week last week and um, we'll be getting used to those longer, those 30 minutes on and those 30 minutes off. There are also some general math forms here that you have access to. I'm going to go ahead and share with you the course two syllabus, which is right here. Um, crucial rules. We're talking a lot about norms online and that can take some getting used to I think for all of us. Your child does need to have some supplies with them on a daily basis. They need their Chromebook, pencils, um, a math journal. We're going to be doing notes sometimes. We'll be writing down important concepts. They'll also still be doing some paper pencil work. Text pages when needed, and I will absolutely let them know which ones in advance. I would recommend a scientific calculator. And it's going that might take some getting used to because most of my students are used to having using their calculators on their cell phones, and we're going to ask for no cell phones during class. They're probably going to need a ruler at some point, and the personal whiteboard and dry erase markers are not um, required, but for some reason it gives children, or it gives me that freedom of, you know, making more mistakes and erasing them, and it's kind of fun. So that would be a nice item to have. For resources, just be sure that you visit my website, more than Google Classroom regularly, and I love the statement that one of my coworkers put in there, that it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to try. Also on this page is our grading policy. We're going to do 40% for skills and fluency, classwork, check-in quizzes, con assignments that are going to show, be required um, to show a level of mastery for specific skills. And then things that are more application, reflection of conceptual learning activities that ask them to to demonstrate their knowledge of um, math concepts would, would be 40%. And then participation and engagement will be another 20%. So when we, when the teachers at um, Olympus and the EVA, myself, are going to grade things, we grade them on a four-point rubric. So that would be like tests, projects, activities. So I'm going to let you go through that at your, at your leisure and let me know if you have questions. I have found that it's an amazing way to give feedback to students really quickly and um, also to give them, you know, they know what's going to be expected of them and I will be talking to them, uh, to all of your children about this further this week. And then participation and engagement rubric. It's so important in a virtual classroom that my students are letting me know what questions they have, what's confusing to them, um, what I need to do need to clarify things for them. And then the engagement part, the disrupting others or off-task behavior. So our plan right now is that on a weekly basis, we will be giving your child 
points for participation and engagement. Um, and that won't start this week. That'll start next week because we're still kind of getting to know each other and, and go over the things. For the most part, my classes have been doing an amazing, amazing job. So the other thing that I wanted to share with you is I wanted to share with you about the um, Google Classroom and Google Calendar. Because those are both really the, organiz that's the organization piece. We're going to find so much information in those two spaces. This is Google Classroom. And in here, I put the topics into folders. Because I found that last year, at the end of the year, things were just getting lost. My, my students did not know where they were supposed to go to find things. They were confused. So here are all the Zoom meeting links for Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Friday. And then here are, is the Zoom link for Wednesdays. And this is for my second period. But you, you would just navigate to, well, your child's going to have a, a screen that's going to look slightly different. So they would just navigate to their even math classroom. And then all of the things that I have assigned to them are here. And when they click on it, it brings up directions and a link to the activity. Um, it tells when they're due, gives you just a, um, much information about their activities. So there's the course information. That was the link for the second day. When we're doing notes online, they will get dropped right into this folder. So if your child happens to miss a Zoom meet, that will be in that notability folder. The other thing I wanted to show you, so you've got all of this information here in Google Classroom. It, it's wonderful. You can even click on grades um, and see how your child's doing. This one right here, this is a, my calendar, and it has all of my courses on it. But when your child opens their Google Calendar, so not Google Classroom, but their Google Calendar, they should see all of their classes and what's happening for them on that particular day, where, where things are due. Um, and I really like this because it's just, it's right there at a glance. They can really quickly see, hey, this is, you know, if I'm in second period and I click on this, that's going to take me to the Zoom meeting where I need to go. And then also they can look at this and they can see what assignment is due and when, and they can click on that and get to the assignment. There is a calendar. Um, if you go to the course, to your course two, there is a calendar on my website. The, the drawback with that calendar is that I can't, this, this is a public calendar, and I, it's not a good practice to put your Zoom links out in public, not for, not for you parents, but because then it's just out there for everybody. So this will have just more general due dates on it. It's not going to have the specific um, login Zoom information, but it will have, my intent is to put the assignments on there. The other thing that this has is it has extra practice and support. So these are the links to the online learning tools that we know we're going to be using so far. I definitely anticipate adding to those as we go through the year. And I, like I said earlier, I'm blessed to just work with such an amazing team and we're always sharing things and we're pulling information from each other. You will also see the EVA exploratory calendar in here. And I know that Mr. Shafto and Mr. Healy are going to be doing a presentation for you just about what the exploratory is going to look like. So I'm smiling because I just got off of a Zoom meet with um, Mrs. Datsky and we were talking about what we were going to do for the exploratory. So I've talked to you about the website. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. I've talked to you guys about your Zoom and your Google Classroom. I've got my email address in here. It's also on my website. Please, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact me. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you haven't heard back from me in 24 hours, then I probably something strange happened and I didn't get your email. I would also encourage you after this week to check PowerSchool Weekly to see how your child is doing. Are they, are they participating in their synchronous and their asynchronous activities? And then if you have, um, sometimes I have a child that isn't, isn't meeting all of their obligations. And then a weekly email between a parent and, and myself can go just a long way to rectifying that. And I'm so happy to do that. You also can expect to hear from me on Wednesdays, um, again, after this week, with an email just 
you know, if something comes up, if there's something I think you need to know, if there's a celebration or something that's gone amazingly well, um, I will contact you and let you know. So I think at this point, I am just going to say, hey, thanks for coming to my very first virtual back to school night. And just remember that we are a team and our goal is your child's success. Have a great um, rest of your day or your evening whenever you're watching this. And um, I look forward to this year.